In this video, you'll learn how to build an example email campaign, custom report in Sugar Market. First, using the navigation menu, find the analytics icon down at the bottom of the menu. Then click on custom reports. Here, we'll need to create a new report using the button in the upper right hand corner. And you'll have an option for report builder versus advanced report builder. The report builder is a guided report builder, which only lets you really look at one table, such as contacts. The advanced report builder is not guided, but it does let you choose from all tables and all types of reports. When building a custom report using the Advanced Report Builder, you'll have the ability to customize the displayed columns and filters using standard and custom fields on your database tables. We'll walk through the steps of building a custom report following an example looking at an email campaign report. The report I'm building is to look at every contact record that has opened an email sent from Sugar Market in the past 30 days. First, I selected standard views because I need a combination of tables that come standard with Sugar Market. The table view I selected is view account contact campaign because I would like to include columns and filters using fields from these different tables. This will allow me to see individual record and campaign data. I selected the report type as tabular to view my report in a rows and columns format that I'm able to export. Then I added the name and description for the report, making sure to follow any naming conventions set by my internal team. Checking off the box for shared report allows other users in my role to view this report. And finally, I'm storing this report in a reports folder. Now, once I hit save, I will begin creating my report. First, I will add columns that I would like to display on my report. I will have all available fields from the accounts, contacts, and campaigns table to choose from. First, I would like to include the email field from the contacts table. To add, click through the available columns and type to search. You will see all fields displayed with that table name first, then the field name. Once selected, I can click add or in this case, the right hand arrow. Repeat the steps for all the remaining columns I wish to display. Please note that any custom report must contain the contacts email field as well as the contacts contact ID. I've added a few more fields for personal details that I'd like to have displayed, such as first name and last name, but you're welcome to choose whichever fields you'd like to have. Now I'm ready to add my filters now that all of my display columns have been added, and I'm going to filter this report based on campaign opens, which are only going to pull records who have opened at least one email from Sugar Market in the past 30 days. To do this, we'll now need to move over to the Filter tab, and then on the right side of your screen, Add New to begin adding new filters. This report will require two filters, and each of those filters can be added from the same area. First, I'm going to select the column name, which is the field that references the date and time that the campaign was sent. I'd like to have this report continually reference all campaigns from the past 30 days. So the field that I'll need to add in this situation is the campaigner actual post date. And for my operator, I will choose the greater than or equal to, since this will reference campaigns sent on or before the present day. Instead of entering a specific date and time, I can either select a merge tag that this report will continually reference data to pull from, or enter the appropriate merge tag if not found here from this drop down list of options. For this example today, the merge tag that we need to use is not part of this list of options, so I will provide you with a table at the end of this video that you may keep for reference for additional merge tags that are not part of the available options within this dropdown. To the right of the merge tag icon, you'll notice there's a calendar icon. This calendar will reference a specific date and time. Now the merge tag that I'm using is days subtract XXX since I want to look at the past 30 days. Once inserted, I will remove the placeholders and type 30. Make sure to replace all three placeholders with a number. And since 30 is only a two digit number, I've added a zero, making it 030. Remaining in the same window and using the blue and button, next I'm able to add my second field filter, which is going to reference the field that registers an email open action. 
Notice you're able to reference the campaign link clicks within the campaign actual clicked field if you'd like. But for this example, I'll be referencing email open, so I'm going to be using the campaign or actual open field. Next, I want to only include records on this report that have opened a campaign at least one time. So for my operator, I will again choose the is greater than or equal to, and my value is going to be set to one. From here, make sure to hit save. Then our fields we're filtering by will be added to this report. Once I've completed adding all of my fields for columns as well as the filters, I'm able to view and retrieve my report several different ways. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see the blue button to run the report. My options are to look at the record count to see how many records are included in this report. I can download this to Excel. I'm able to email this report to the logged in user's inbox. Lastly, I'm able to select Run Preview, which will show me an HTML version of the report in a pop-up window. Please keep in mind the report preview is limited to showing only 2,000 records. Here is that merge tag table that I referenced earlier that might include things not part of the drop-down list options. I recommend keeping that handy. Thanks for watching.